because this allows me to go. I'm, I'm so glad she knows every angle of this place because imagine me backing up over here. <laughs> Gary Hammer. The white piece there is Bill Wilson's. And this piece called Mount Adams is by from Portland. You have a pond. The pond and the mm -hmm. um, ancient pier is. Um, by an artist from Scotland who was mm -hmm. here during our symposium. Mm -hmm. The newest piece in the park happens to be the globe. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Hands of God. It's by Jeff Jolly. And if you tap the fingers on one side, it vibrates around and the fingers on the other side move and create sound also and the vibrations continue around for a brief time. Okay, but see. When you tap the fingers on one side, it vibrates around the globe and the other fingers on the other hand um, vibrate and this piece is titled The Hands of God. Tap on the fingers, it says, mm -hmm. and observe. This is just awesome. Again, this is by Jeff Jolly, mm -hmm. who's a Washington State artist. Yeah, I just asked you uh, about, uh, you said you flooded? Yes, when you... um, our creek flooded, mm. and uh, a lot of rushing water. It moved a few things, but didn't create much damage, mm -hmm. fortunately. This tall piece is by Valentine Wellman with the seagull on the top. Oh. What are you capturing? Everything. Okay. The, um, the trees and everything. The, the, the flags along here represent the nations of the artists who have participated here. Mm -hmm. It's called International Alley for that reason. Mm -hmm. And then the croquet set that's there, um, because that's a very swampy area, not much could be placed there, so I created that to occupy this space. Mm -hmm. And on either side, over here, we have the cedars, and we have a nature walk in there, and there's a small creek that runs through. And then on this side, where the cottonwoods are, we, we put in an area of a nature walk called Fantasy Garden, and it has things to delight children. And so uh, they find a troll under the bridge, a big uh, spider with long legs, a dragonfly, a, a garden, um, a, a flower bed. It's actually a bed with uh, flowers in it. and. Oh, we have mushrooms, dancing mushrooms that are upside down, and they have fun discovering. We also have what I call the sacred grove and prayer tree, and it has the ribbons that people have left with uh, messages, mm -hmm. and it has become a very popular area of the park, almost as popular as the sound garden. Yeah, this piece is entitled the, or titled the chalice. Ah. There's just so many little crevices of things and people and places, and it, it is just pretty. Uh, this is the gong from the from the back. Uh, we filmed it for you from the road there.
birds. The mama bird, the mama bird was making noise, so I followed her voice. And this is what I found. Isn't it beautiful? Mm-hmm. Here comes mama bird. So mad. So, soon, so you know how to get here. It's off the old 99 on Warwick Road. And uh, you have a number there. And if you get lost, you call me. This is a map of the ground, uh, of the ground. So we went, uh, let's see, we went from the office. Show me which way we went. Okay. We were here at the office. We went around by the studio, back up, saw the works on the other side of the gallery, then went on to Waldrick, around uh, to the back of the property, came around the butterfly maze this way, crossed the creek, and saw the works that are along both sides and near the stage, mm -hmm. the pavilion. And we have over 115 sculptures on the grounds currently, and the exhibit changes out um, as we sell or the artists remove uh, for another venue and bring new works in. Mm -hmm. and. The park is open dawn to dusk year-round. It's by donation. The gallery is open by appointment, or if we're on the grounds, ask and we'll open it for you. On, a, on, a, on an average, uh, if a, in a, with a brisk walk, how long do you think it would think to take on everything? It takes at least an hour. We have oh. almost 10 acres here. Yeah. And most people spend two to three hours because they there's so much to see yeah but just a quick tour through it takes almost an hour yeah driving took 16 minutes hmm. yeah <coughs> i understand you went to uh, canon de chez yes i did um i was at um, marble marble in colorado mm -hmm. and on the way down we visited arches and then on the way mm -hmm. uh, back um, from Texas, we uh, stopped at Bryce and Canyon mm -hmm. de Chez. And what a magical, mystical moment it is um, in the, that canyon. It's as if the past speaks to you. Yeah. And the colors, it's so rich and beautiful. Yes, yeah, some of the friends, they come up here mm -hmm. to visit me. So when they do, uh, make sure we come and see you. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I, uh, we discovered that, you know, um, our Travers Terry. Yes. Yeah. I have his flute music. Mm -hmm. And his wife is a jewelry maker. Ah. But she there? I didn't see her. Yeah. I didn't see her jewelry. I probably saw it, but she wasn't present. She was so there. Yes, she, she's usually there. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to thank you for this wonderful visit. And the timing was just off in 2006 because we would have just made things up as we went along. And today, he gave us a personal tour. Tacoma News Tribune, excuse me, Tacoma News Tribune came and yes. did a story. Yes, and it's going to appear sometime within the next week to two weeks. Mm -hmm in the Tribune. Yeah, well, this is going to air much later, so I'm sure they would probably allow you to put it on your website. And you've given me permission to hook your website to mine. Yes, I have. So anytime you want to see, just go to the website. All right, and thank you. And it's been such a wonderful day, and thank you. You made the sunshine. <laughs> ah, together we made the sunshine. We did, yeah. So anyway, i see you next week. How about that? Sunshine. This is Randy, working on the new version of Lillian Miss Lillian.
It's part of why I plan it instead. And if we do our part, fill our mission we've had from. Thank you.